Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well, bestie. I wanna tell you in case no one's told you today, you're doing amazing, you're amazing, and I'm so glad you exist. So today we're going to be making a wrap top from this shirt. It's a men's shirt that I got for three and a half dollars in a size small, and we're going to be making a three-in-one top. So this is a wrap top. It's a cute little moment. It just wraps around. Jessica, it's simple math, just get with it. So it's a simple, cute wrap top. That's what the back looks like and then you can wear this off the shoulder as well if you want to seduce the boys and show some shoulder this is definitely the way to go you just wear the wrap top off the shoulder and the surprise is you can wear this another way by knotting it a cute cute way at the front this is my favorite style look at this you can literally have three tinder dates on the same day and not wear the same top like i'm here single-handedly saving your relationship so yeah in case you want to make this three in one top keep watching it's super simple to do all right so first things first we're going to mark our territory we need this shirt to respect us and right from the get-go we have to establish who's boss so all i'm doing is i'm just marking kind of like a half v and this is basically going to be the shape at the front i just followed my bra if i'm being honest the strap all the way to the front and i had this shape that's not a V, I lied. I don't know. Whatever shape that is, this is not mathematics, okay? I'm just showing you how to make a top. And then now I'm going to seam rip off my pocket. <laughs> I forgot the term for pocket for a second there. Oh my God. And then I'm going to mark how long I want my top to be. So if you want this all the way up to your knees, if you want this to reach your toes, you do you. But because I'm a hoe, I put this quite high up. It was very, very cropped. So now remember the markings we made to establish our territory. We're going to draw a straight line through the two points and then join it to the other points. Like you can see what I'm doing. I'm creating the neckline of this top and then I'm going to cut this off. Make sure you're only cutting through the top layer because you don't want this to be the same shape at the back unless you want to have this shape at the back i personally wanted a square shape at the back so you do you whatever shape you want at the back don't let me tell you what to do so using that piece i cut out i'm going to use it as a template on the other side just to make sure everything will be nice and equal and no one will know that i make these shirts in my bedroom and i'm actually really broke so i traced out the three points and once i had them in place i just joined them together like we did on the other side this is so simple to do if you're struggling to do this at this point i don't know what to say to you i wish you god's blessings and i hope you make it through because times are tough <laughs> so i cut out this piece and once the collar was gone got rid of her she is now my toxic ex and now we're going to open the shirt up just to make sure we do the back right that sounded so wrong so now i went one inch down from that line like i went down one inch and i'm going to repeat the same on the other side just drawing a straight line and then squaring that off that way i have a square shape at the back and it looks cute and it's high up it's just a moment and i'm living for it so once i cut out the fabric we now have a shape like this and i did try the top on and i decided this was not enough hole for me not a lot was being left to the imagination i'm kidding i just didn't like how it fit so i decided to mark one and a half inches from the shoulder seam draw a straight line through i'm basically widening the neckline that way it's deeper and everything just looks nicer and more flattering on me the beauty of diys is you can make this fit however you want it to there's no rules baby girl you just do you so i cut off the excess fabric and once the neckline was deep enough for me i made sure to also deepen the back because you want things to look nice and seamless. So I cut off the excess fabric at the back as well. I was here for a cute minute. I cut really slow, like that's a talent at this point. So once I'd widened one side, I'm going to do the other side off camera and now we have a top that looks cute and is super flattering on me. So now I'm going to take out the button packet on both sides because she's a bit toxic. She's bringing up a lot of traumas for me and she just has to go. So once the button packet was gotten rid of i'm going to make a small slit and it's going to be about three quarter inches deep and this is to make sure we can fold the fabric pieces really seamlessly so i did this at all four points the corner points so make sure you hit the back
back make sure you hit the front no one should be left in the dark okay so what I'm going to do now is this bit I'm going to overlock this edge so what you're seeing me show you is what I'm going to overlock it's not going to the moon it's simple overlocking so I just use my zigzag stitch on my sewing machine if you have a serger just surge this edge you don't want this fraying on you and ruining your life like your ex did that's already enough trauma so just make sure the shirt does not add to that trauma so now I'm going to fold in that fabric and pin it along the shoulder seam this is just going to make this really seamless really cute so just pin along the shoulder seam I folded in the fabric inwards and this is what that looks like and we're basically creating a casing for our elastic make sure elastic fits perfectly in there and once you've done that you're going to repeat on the other side because you have two shoulders but you know how I am very accepting if you've got 15 shoulders please make sure you do this 15 times so once both sides are done you're going to sew a simple straight stitch right along that seam and the reason we pinned along the shoulder seam is it conceals your stitch and it makes it look so seamless so professional you look like you have your life together whereas in fact you stay up until 3 a.m watching tiktoks and eating ice cream out of the tub no one needs to know that we need to portray that we have our life together so i did my simple straight stitch again it's not complicated baby girl it's just a simple straight stitch okay stay with me and this is what that looks like and you can see we've created a cute little casing for our elastic and once that's done on both sides our casing is sewn and there she is and now it's time to put in our elastic so I took a random piece of elastic and two safety pins and I then pinned one safety pin to one end of the elastic and then pinned that to my shirt and then the other safety pin went on the other end and I'm going to use this side to feed the elastic through my casing so in case you're wondering what length of elastic to use just measure your shoulder point where the shirt will sit and use that bit of elastic as your piece I just decided I'd wing this and pull this until there was enough ruching and that was enough for me apparently I have really small shoulders and this worked fine so yeah don't wing it I never know what I'm doing half the time and I don't even know why you're watching this tutorial I generally don't know what I'm doing so once I fed the elastic Cut off the excess and pinned both ends I'm going to sew a zigzag stitch just to make sure this elastic stays in place and doesn't disrespect me of course repeat on the other side and if you've got to do this 15 times that is a lot of work and I'm so sorry so once I'd sewn my zigzag stitch across both ends this is what that looks like and this elastic was not going anywhere unlike my ex-boyfriend so once that was done we're now going to double fold the back edge and this is to make sure that the raw edge one is tucked away out of sight no one needs to see her at the family gathering she is very toxic and two you need to make sure this casing is wide enough to fit your elastic bit so now you're going to sew a straight stitch along the bottom make sure there's gaps at both ends to feed in your elastic later so I did my straight stitch at this point the straight stitch is the one I am marrying I used her so much and she knows me so intimately now and I'm pretty sure she wants to leave me as well because I am quite intense so now I'm just feeding a piece of elastic through the back as well someone is mowing their lawn it is Thursday morning why do you need to do this at this time anyway if you hear that in the background I am sorry so I'm just feeding a piece of elastic through the back bit and again I wing this I wing so many things in life I'm really surprised I'm still alive so once I'd fed the elastic through I just pinned the ends in place and I just pulled the elastic until there was enough ruching and then I pinned the other end in place just to make sure she would stay in place and stay in her seat she was not going to disrespect me not on this day not ever Ever, okay so then I sewed my zigzag stitch across the ends and then I'm going to cut off the excess bit of elastic and now your shirt should fit you in a cute little way so now we're going to make the wrap bits of our shirt and I just use the bottom bit I'm separating the front from the back these guys are not working together they need to they need to go their separate ways they're not seeing eye to eye baby girl and then I straightened off one of the pieces and this is because there was a curved edge at the bottom 
bottom i didn't need that it was ruining my vibes i did not like them so i'm going to put an eye on the inside just to make sure i don't confuse the sides of the fabric and then i'm going to join the right side to the right side and this is going to give me a really long piece you'll see it'll come together trust the process okay give me a chance to prove myself and I'm just pinning those pieces together and I'm going to sew a straight stitch to join these two pieces together and I will repeat the same process on the opposite side so I'm going to take this piece and since it's got a button placket and all she thinks she's doing the most but really she's not needed so I got rid of the button placket as well because she was not fitting my aesthetic in life and she had to go okay and once I had these two pieces I'm going to join them to my top I made sure to mark the inside because I really do get confused sometimes and it just helps me not to pin the wrong thing together so I pin these two pieces right sides together and I'm going to sew a straight stitch along this edge just to make sure they become one they're getting married and I hope they like each other because this is happening anyway once they're joined in holy matrimony it's time to now pin this piece to the other side of our shirt you're seeing the curved bit is still there I do wish I'd gotten rid of it before attaching but this is what it is we just go with it so I'm just pinning the right side to the right side and I'm going to sew a straight stitch along this edge so just to be clear we're sewing a straight edge here here and here just to join everything together make sure everyone's on the same page and everyone is liking each other if you don't like each other I am sorry you need to suck it up and be a grown-up so once I sewed my straight stitch across all three points I made sure to overlock the raw edge with my zigzag stitch again if you have a serger there's no need to prove that you're better than us just use your serger and move on with your life no one cares okay I'm just mad my serger broke anyway once everything is joined together this is what the top looks like at this point and you can see she's coming together she is becoming a wrap top so now I'm going to work on one side so I just made sure that side was squared up because if she didn't square up she would catch these hands they're rated E for everyone I don't care who you are are okay so I just drew a diagonal line and I cut that out and this is going to give us our final wrap piece and I'm going to put that right sides together pin it in place and this is going to make the wrap bit for one side so once you're done you're going to sew along the pinned edge and this will join the two pieces together and give you a really long wrap tie and you can see now I'm working on the curved bit I realized she wasn't needed she was toxic and snip snip she had to go so once she was gone I drew a diagonal throughout the other side as well and this was mostly chancing it I was hoping that it would look cute and now I'm showing you that I just cut her off I got rid of her no I actually need her so I had to apologize to her and once we were friends again I'm going to pin the right sides together and we're going to sew along this edge as well just to make sure everyone's nice and joined together so once everything is nice and sewn make sure you overlook your raw edges as well now we have this really long piece on both sides so I am going to work on this edge I am showing you it is quite long you do need a very long tie so make sure she's cute look at this iron I got off Amazon for like 20 dollars she's so cute so dainty I love her so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in that edge once and iron it in place and we're creating the hem of this side just to make sure everything stays in its place Place. one thing you don't want in your life is your fabric talking back to you you need her to know that you're the boss you're in charge and if she doesn't understand that she's gonna catch these hands sis I'm getting too carried away today anyway I then went back in and folded in the fabric again and ironed it in place and then pinned her in place so that she would stay in her place okay it's quite simple and I did this all the way through so the reason we're folding it in twice is because of the raw edge she's gonna ruin your life if you let her prosper so you need to tuck her away for life and I did this throughout the entire length of my wrap tie and pinned it in place it's quite simple really it will take a bit of time because I had quite a long tie and when I reached the edge I'm going to fold in that fabric piece twice and then 
lay the other piece on top of it and act like nothing ever happened. She's cute and she's gonna stay cute. So once everyone was folded up and in their place, I just finished pinning and everyone was behaving. I was a happy, happy girl. And once all the pins are in place, you now have a piece that looks like this. And the cute thing is you have to do this on the other side as well. So you're going to be here and you're probably never gonna have a life and that's okay you never had a social life anyway to begin with so now we're going to sew a straight stitch along the bottom edge of all the pinned edge on both sides sis you're not gonna be here doing half-assed jobs okay you're gonna do it to completion you need to do both sides and make sure the straight stitch is straight stitching okay the math needs to be mathing it's that simple so I'm just going to sew my straight stitch and you can see it's quite long and you will be here for the rest of your life so you and I are now going to spend our lives together how do you feel about that so at the sewing machine I'm just doing my straight stitch and at this point it's so seamless so easy your fabric should know its place and not give you problems and it's going to be a breeze to sew at this point and you have taught the fabric to respect you and that's on period so once you've done your straight stitch and it's looking cute it's now time to hem the bottom edge and I did this by folding in the fabric twice and doing a straight stitch along the bottom edge by this point if you're not engaged to the straight stitch what are you doing wrong like you need to evaluate yourself so at the sewing machine I just folded in my fabric twice sewed my straight stitch minded my business and I'm not gonna lie I was here for a hot minute this was quite a long piece of fabric to hem but you can see me just fold in the fabric twice and do my straight stitch it's honestly really simple it's just a bit time-consuming because you have quite a lot of fabric to get through but hang in there sis you're almost done so once I sewed my straight stitch make sure you always backstitch by the way when you're starting your sewing and ending it if you don't backstitch I'm gonna show up at your house and beat you up okay that was aggressive for no reason I'm so sorry anyway now at the side seam you need to create a cute little hole and this is because the wrap needs somewhere to go she needs space and if it's not wrapping around you then it's not really a wrap top is it so I measured one inch from the top and one and a half inches from the bottom and then I created a hole in the middle by seam ripping off everything and then I made sure to hem that hole in place so that the raw edge wouldn't ruin my life I've already had enough of that with my exes so I just folded in the fabric twice made sure that raw edge was hidden and tucked away pinned that in place and that's it you're basically just going to sew a straight stitch all around Around, and this is going to make sure your holes looking cute that sounds really wrong but that's what that's what this looks like I'm sorry <laughs> um, yeah so once everything is nice and stitched you now have your gap actually gap is a better word and now I'm going to seam rip off the cuff and this is going to help me cinch in the cuff and along this edge I'm going to sew a basting stitch and to do that you set your sewing machine to the longest stitch length minus five and make sure you have a lot of hanging thread and then you're just going to do a simple straight stitch along that edge do not back stitch I know what I said about back stitching earlier I'm allowed to change my mind so don't backstitch at this point at all and once you finish sewing make sure you also have a lot of hanging thread when you end your sewing and these are going to help you gather your fabric so do this on both sleeves obviously and now to size the cuff I measured my wrist it was six inches wide and I'm going to align the cuff by folding it along this edge just to make sure I'm accommodating for the extra fabric and then I marked three and an eighth inches because six divided by two is three and the eighth was just for seam allowance and then I draw a straight line through and then I'm going to pin along this straight line and this will just size our cuff so nicely it's going to be nice and tight and it look really cute so yeah I had put those in place to hold the fabric together and now you're going to sew a straight stitch along the pinned line this is so simple to do and once you've sewn your straight stitch you have something that looks like this and make sure you cut off the excess fabric you don't need her you know the theme for today we cut off toxic people who are not helping our life and then you're going to overlock that raw edge overlocking is as essential as drinking your water at this point so once that's done that's what this looks like and you're now good to go with your cuff so now we need to size the shirt to fit the cuff 
So all I'm doing is I'm pulling on the top string. You pick a struggle. You can't pull on both the top and the bottom string. You pick one string and stick to it. Loyalty is not that hard, people. So I pulled the top string on both sides and this just beautifully gathers your fabric. And once she's nice and gathered and the size of your cuff, make sure to tie off the ends. And now you're going to align this with your cuff. So I'm making sure right side goes to right side, like always, always put the right side together. And I'm pinning the cuff along that edge we just gathered. And this is going to help us attach our cuff to our sleeve. So once everything is nice and pinned, you're going to sew a straight stitch along the pinned edge. And this will give you a... Uh, beautiful beautiful gathered sleeve so i sewed a straight stitch along this edge i'm not doing anything fancy i'm just respecting the law ma'am because i don't want to get speeding tickets and once i'd sewn my straight stitch i made sure to go in and overlock that raw edge and once everything was nice and overlocked our fabric was behaved and she looked cute and this is what your sleeve looks like i actually wish i'd used a bigger size shirt because i used a small i didn't have as much gathering so maybe i might do this the larger shirt but just to see the magic happen you slot one side into your gap and then just wrap this around yourself as tightly or as loosely as you like it is your top and then you're going to tie a cute bow it doesn't have to be cute you just need to try your best we are all trying to survive and if your bow looks like it has two left feet it's fine this is what life is giving you and this is what the top looks like but on she looks fabulous look at that the neckline is so cute the elastic at the shoulders the wrapping detail oh my gosh i love this i love this so much and the cinched cuff just makes all the difference and that's what the back looks like obviously my bow is not cute but that's not what matters and worn off the shoulder she's even cuter and i'm showing shoulder i am ready for date number three i have my three tender dates in one day so i've switched it up to the last top and look at that it looks hella cute i did quite well with this bow considering how the back one looked this one is an upgrade and yeah you have your top that can be worn three ways and you are welcome i really really love this top i am so excited to have a piece that i can wear three different ways and that is just what life is about versatility and diversity and beauty okay this is what life is about so i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up tell me what's up in the comments tell me what's going on I want to know and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and get vaccinated, man. We need to kick this Panasonic in the face. See you soon. Bye.